The National Day of Prayer and Fasting declared by the Cabinet of Ministers is garnering tremendous support from the religious community. The observance is scheduled for Monday, 24th May 2021, and all St. Lucians at home and abroad are asked to come together in reflection and prayer following the unprecedented year the country has been through due to COVID-19. Apostle Yvonne Alexander is calling on religious groups of all faiths as well as all political parties to join in the National Day of Prayer and Fasting that the government has declared. She highlights the significance of spiritual solidarity for the nation. God is able to protect us from the hurricanes, protect us from volcanic eruptions, protect us from, from earthquakes devastating our nation. And I tell you, I, I really would like to see the churches forget about your beliefs. We are thinking about the nation. Mm -hmm. We are thinking about we coming together that day to pray, to seek God. I really appreciate the fact that our prime minister, as the governing body for the nation God has placed him there, see the significance of calling the nation at this time to prayer. I believe this is so significant. And if all of us come together in such a time to just adhere to the call of the leader of this nation, I believe great things can happen. She is calling on groups to get organized for the National Day of Prayer and Fasting and to suspend any reservations based on religious and political affiliation. It is a call that we never heard before that the leader of the nation is calling. Regardless of, let me tell you, I hate that thing of church in red and yellow. Let me tell you, it just hurts me to the core. This is not the time for red and yellow. This is the time for church and state to come together for that call of God. God is the one who called for that prayer. He knows what we are going to, through and he knows what is coming. So he does not want us to suffer long. So I'm call, I'm really encouraging, pleading with leaders, spiritual leaders, mobilize your church. I just encourage you to come together to pray. Not for the prime minister, not for any party, but for our nation and our next generation. Monday's observance will be guided by a live NTN broadcast featuring church services, gospel performances, prayer, spoken word, and testimonies.